what's going on guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'll be showing you guys three creatives where you can use the adjustments layer when it comes to final cut pretend let's go You've not seen my previous video i talk about how to get the adjustment layer and also how to download it and upload it on your software so with this video i'll skip that i'll not be talking about the adjustment layer how to get that so with this effect i really use it in my instagram reels videos and i've seen other guys do it a lot so with this go to the adjustment layer drag it and drop it on your timeline let's cut this side so now what you do is click on the adjustment layer go to the starting point make a keyframe under scale all go to the last but one frame make another keyframe under scale all and over there you can change the size to whatever size you want with this i'll change the scale to somewhere 180 to really fill the effect and now i'll play it back and see how it looks like so as you can see it gives this smooth zoom in when i disable the top you can see it's affecting the down clip with this when you do it on the individual clip you will not get that smooth zoom in effect and with this it looks it makes the clips look like a one clip that you took and with this i think you can even do it on your music videos and all other videos you have with this we'll go with drag the adjustment layer on top of the clip then you change the duration of the adjustment layer right click go to change duration and over there we can just change it to 10 frames so with this what i do is i go to the middle of the two clips then go five frames forward drag this clip so the middle will be somewhere over here so with this i have five frames over here and five frames over here and with this transition we'll just go with something simple something like a flash and also a zoom in transition so with this i'll click on the adjustment layer make a keyframe over there at the starting point then go to the middle make another keyframe then go to the and then make another keyframe over there now go back to the middle keyframe that you made over there you can increase it to somewhere let's say with this i'll go to 145 now go to your color inspector side over there let's choose the color rows over there we'll do the same thing just like the one we did with the skill or go to the starting point make a keyframe go to the middle side make another keyframe under color rows and go to the ending side and make another keyframe over there now go back to the middle go to global and over there you can just increase it by stretching this i just want to achieve this flash effect so with this i can go as much as i can and now we'll play back and see how it looks like So as you can see, it gives this zoom in flash and then takes you right to the second clip. I do this a lot when it comes to music videos. With this, we we'll use this free YouTube subscribe call out that I got on online. We just drag and drop on our timeline. Let's make this size 60. So we'll go to scale all and then we'll drop the size to 60. So with this creative way, as you can see, when the subscribe comes out, we want to blur the background video that we have. So with this, go to where you save the adjustment layer. With my, I save it under row drawing. So click, drag the adjustment layer under the call, YouTube callout that we have. Make it the same length with the callout that we have. Click on the adjustment layer. Go to your effects section side. Go to blur under blur. Choose Gaussian blur. Drag and drop on your adjustment layer you have. As you can see, it's already giving that effect blurring the background video that we have so over here click on the adjustment layer go to the starting point make a keyframe under amount go to where the subscribe start to come in so somewhere here i think somewhere here will be okay we click on that we make another keyframe over there then you go to where it start to fade out somewhere here make another keyframe over there and then go to the ending part make another keyframe over there so what you do is the last keyframe that we have change it to zero and then go back to the first the very first keyframe that we made in that to also zero now we'll play and see how it looks like So with this effect, it makes you to reveal your text and at the same time, blur the background video that you have so people can exactly see what the text is all about. Also, if you want to see more tips about Final Cut Pro 10, you can check on this playlist. And also don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.